Yo everybody, welcome back to another Canton Bourbon Boys video. I am excited that it's bourbon season. Uh, we're excited to get another video out to you guys. Uh, there's uh, bottles that I look forward to every year and Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series is one of them. They've been hitting Ohio all over the place. People are kind of curious uh, which one's better. Uh, I've seen one disappear nonstop when they've been hitting stores and two is the one that's been lingering. Which one's the best? We'll try to find out today on the latest edition of the Canton Bourbon Boys. Thanks for tuning back in, but I am really excited about these Makers Wood Finishing Series. Um, we did an episode uh, a little ways back where we kind of went through all of them, starting with the RC6, their first release. Uh, I was glad to see Makers finally get on the, the limited release train here and start to release some of these uh, unique profiles. Uh, the RC6 was absolutely fantastic. When when it hit, I, I didn't see a lot of people grabbing it, snagging it up, uh, because Maker's Mark is pretty much standard with their with their profile and their releases. Um, pretty much stuck around with 46 cast strength and the regular Makers for a while there, um, and they finally decided to jump on this train. And the bottles continue to get better and better as time goes on. Uh, without diving deep into the individual stave profiles of all these, um, we, we kind of sampled uh, the RC6 going up to the FAE-02. And the FAE-02 took it for us. It was a phenomenal purchase. We ended up trying to find as many of these as we could because we absolutely love it. Um, and there's a lot of companies now, when they do their private selects, they're actually trying to match the, the stave profiles or some of these or the flavor profiles of them. Um, Party Sources one, they were trying to match uh, one of these uh, BRT 01 or 02. I can't remember which one they said, um, but uh, we'll, we'll try that on a later video. We actually got that bottle to compare the difference between them. But it, it's pretty exciting to, uh, to, to see these coming out on a yearly basis. Uh, they, they are pretty available. Uh, so when, when they hit, you do have a chance to get them. It's not like a Buffalo Trace product where it's just going to kind of um, disappear almost immediately in the morning. This is something that you can actually grab. And these are so good. Well, we're, we're going to start here with the BRT-01 um, and then go through the, the 02. And I want to compare it to the FAE-02 from last year to see if these are getting better or if they're staying pretty standard profile to what Makers is coming out with. It's, it's, it's always beautiful and rich on the nose. Uh, the, these limited releases, uh, they're all so fruity on the nose. There's a nice, nice toastiness to this one. Big hints of caramel. It's got like a very subtle baking spice to it, like a, a, almost like you know it's gonna be like warming. Um, it's got a nice baking spice, uh, a, a beautiful fruit note to it, a nice rich caramel, and, and it just smells oily and thick. It's going for a taste. The, the spices are fantastic. It's got this creme brulee-ness to it, uh, almost like a, a a toasted sugar finish. Uh, it's got a beautiful spice to it. Uh, it's It's got a full mouthfeel, which I love in bourbons. Uh, to get that full mouthfeel, it hits all sides of the palate. It, it's, it's, it's quite wonderful. Uh, it doesn't hit as hot as you'd expect it to hit. This one comes in at 109.4 proof. The two comes in at the same Let's see what last year's was, 109.1, so all very, very similar proofs. This one doesn't hit like a 110. It, it's, it's got a nice, it's still, the finish is still kind of lingering. It's a very warm finish, but it doesn't kill you on the spices. It, it doesn't act like a 110, almost 110 proof bourbon. 
beautiful barrel notes on this. There's like a, a mild tobacco-ness on the finish, um, but the, the, the little cinnamon, nutmeggy type spices are kind of lingering there for a long time, and, and it's, it's very pleasant. It's a good one. Now, this is the one I'm excited to compare to the most because that 01 just disappeared off the shelves. So every time I would go and try to grab some of these, only the 02 was left. So it was where I really had to hunt it down uh, to, to try to get the 01. So it seems like whoever was trying these earlier, um, the, the rumor was getting out there that people were preferring the 01 over the 02. We're gonna find out right now. So this one's got a little bit of a lighter nose. I don't get those, those slight spices on the nose, which were beautiful in the first one. It's a very fruit forward nose, very light and mild. There's a nice little vanilla note on it, but a lot lighter than the first one. So the, the spices aren't there on O2 as they were on O1. This has almost like a, a milk chocolate aspect to it, like a little, a little chocolatey. It's almost like a, uh, it, it's not as rich as I've seen Maker's Mark, uh, the chocolate profile makers previously. There are some that really bring out that dark chocolate, that cocoa. There's a nice mild chocolate to this. Um, really rich on the cherry. The longer it lingers, there's a nice creamy mouthfeel to it. It's just the only thing this is lacking, and this is not a bad thing, it's lacking that, that full spice that O1 brings. Let's go back and kind of compare them. So yeah, a lot fruitier, milder nose. The nose on the O1's got a beautiful little spice to it. it, it you can tell it's gonna be a nice warmness. Beautiful, rich, oily mouthfeel. Beautiful, rich, oily mouthfeel. So when you side by side these, the spices really come out more in 01 in a very, very good way. Um, it's just a more oily, uh, a better on the palate, longer finish, uh, beautiful spices that don't hit you, uh, not peppery spices that, that really like uh, burn your palate. It's beautiful, delicate baking spice. Um, this one here is a little bit milder, still a beautiful flavor profile. Uh, instead of the spices on the end, it lingers with a little bit of a creaminess, uh, almost a little bit of chocolate aspect to it. But both wonderful bourbons, but if I'm gonna compare right now, uh, I'm going with the general public, I'm going with the 01. Um, the 01 was, um, took, the, took the heat over it. But still, two phenomenal bourbons. Now, let's compare it to this FAE 02, which we thought was killer last year. So let's see kind of what we get off this one. Very similar nose. So this one's got some spice on the nose as well. This, the O2, FE02 has got a little more uh, creaminess on the nose, a little more fruitiness on the nose, where the O1, the BRT01 has a little bit more spice on the nose. There's this, there's this candied cherry that's in the background on the nose that, that I get, and hopefully it sticks on the palate. The spices linger. You get a nice toasted oak. And it is creamy. It is creamy and rich and full. So let, let's kind of compare this to the 01, see if they're getting better or they're all good. The spices shine on the BRT 01. The spices absolutely shine. I could drink that all day. The toastiness and the, the creaminess of the FAE02 um, 
I love, and I like the little bit of cherry fruitness on the FAE 02. I think the FAE 02 beats the BRT 02. Um, and it comes close. It's it's different than the 01, BRT 01. Uh, the BRT 01 brings a little bit more of the uh, spiciness to it, the by baking spiciness to it. Um, this one brings brings the spice, but it also brings a nice full creaminess with a little bit of fruit um, and, and a nice toasted aspect to it. If I were to pick right now which one I like the best, I'm probably still going to stick with the FAE 02. Um, these two are quite close in comparison of what I like. Um, so I'm, I'm glad uh, at that because I, I want these makers to keep coming out and keep being absolutely fantastic. But uh, if I were to go for one today, it's going to be the FAE 02. That's probably going to be the one I keep drinking. Nothing against the BRT 02. I still think this is a really good pickup, a really good bourbon. You will enjoy it thoroughly. It just lacks that, um, that fullness and that spice characteristic that really shines in the other two. But hopefully this helps you guys when you're getting out there on the market and you see these maker's marks. It helps you decide which one you want to pick up. If you like something a little bit more mild, you can go for the O2. If you like something with a little bit more full body and spice, uh, go for the O1. But if you still see these FAEs lingering around, which they are still lingering around, especially at Maker's Mark Distillery, um, don't sleep on it. Uh, the, this FAE 02 is quite fantastic. But hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hope you guys get a chance to pick up these bottles, and we'll see you next time.